Hello everybody, and welcome back to Aurora Plays Pathfinder Kingmaker. I am your humble bard, Tim. In the previous session, we managed to defeat the evil Cyclops Lord, um, Vordekai, who was very upset that the human beings have uh, been ruling the world since his demise. But we basically told him to stuff it and uh, kick the crap out of him. But not before Tristian went and betrayed us by uh, stealing the Cyclops Eye, which was an evil demonic artifact. And so with all of that happening, um, while, the, while I was off stream, I went and did a bit of messing around... Um, Yep, doing some some basic housekeeping bits and pieces. However, at this stage, I actually discovered a lose condition for the game kicked in, which has to do with the kingdom management. But I also discovered something else, which is kind of annoying in the way that the, the whole kingdom management thing goes. So in the stats, you've got all of these things here. Right now, in order to gain the different um, characters, like the different um, members of the um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, the different members of, of your council to get all 10 of them, you've got to get these stats above 50 in order to get them up to the next point. So my loyalty is way up there. All these other bits and pieces are uh, not so much. So in order to get the, the Spy Master, I need to get that up to 60. In order to get the Grand Wizard, I need to get that above 60. And same thing with the relations for the Grand Diplomat. However, this st statistic here, once that drops to zero or below, like once that drops to zero, there's rioting. If you lose any points in stability once you get to that point, Points, your entire kingdom collapses and the game is over and what has occurred at this point is that whenever you lose one of these missions you lose stability and so at this point the game is actually over because no matter what I do from this point on these will basically fail because it's a 31 percent chance of success this one's a 55 percent of success any of these that fail will put my stability through the floor and that's game over but the thing that i discovered while i was researching this because i was looking up online it's like how the hell did i fail what the hell is going on is that this whole aspect of the game this all of the uh, the region management and things like that it's kind of superfluous because what i was um what i was thinking was going to be happening with the game is that as you expand out into these different areas you can build like multiple towns and things like that you can upgrade them to cities so you have like a castle and then smaller bits and pieces each of them has like a standing militia and eventually You've got these areas here, um, which are the, you know, the neighboring kingdoms. And towards the end of the game, there's going to be like an all-out war. People are going to try and invade uh, your, uh, your kingdom. And so depending on how well you've built your cities will determine how quickly your, uh, your kingdom collapses from the outside. But that doesn't appear to be the case because you can only ever build in any one area one city. So because you don't actually need to do anything, as it were, because there's the, it's the illusion of choice. You have a little bit of choice. Um, and you can use that to build your different um, things to get your different abilities, like your teleportation circles and things like that to teleport to the different areas. But ultimately, it really makes no difference. And so what I'm going to do from this point on, just to keep the, the story going, because I will say I really do like the story, 
but this kingdom management side of it has just been dragging me out. So from now on, I'm actually going to turn off, I'm going to switch the party management to, not party management, kingdom management. Uh, yeah, so the Invincible Kingdom thing, all right, is uh, the option that switches on if the stability drops below um, zero. So that automatically triggered when I, I lost the thing. But here's the thing here, Kingdom Management. I'm going to turn that to automatic because at this stage, I think I've fiddled around enough with the Kingdom Management. It's not, I'm not really enjoying it and it is just really distracting from the game. So... From now on, I'm going to let the game sort that out, and we're just going to go adventuring. And so, with that, let us visit the throne room. Actually, no, we've got to visit the tavern first, because we need to inform... Um, I can't remember what his name is now. Jathal, I think his name is, about the fate of his family. So... I'm hungry. Why don't we stop? Uh, or I might have already done that, actually, now that I think about it. I might have accidentally done that during the... Uh, Coins of a Dead Man's Eyes. Surrounding the Nature of the Beast. Music for the Nobles. Lost Brother. Yes, I had done that one. Yes, that was the one there. Had to let them know about that. All right, cool. Problem solved. All right, let's uh, head out and we'll... Go to the throne room and continue. Because you still have to deal with people in the throne room to get the new missions and things like that, which is fine. But all those little... Uh, Landa Libra. I have so much to report, Your Grace. I don't know where to begin. Uh, but first, the Sword Lords have requested your aid against the Barbarians. Secondly, monsters have started to appear um, within our barony again. As they did during the bloom, according to reports, most creatures have been sighted at Candlemere Lake. I hope Your Grace will decide which action to do first. Uh... Either way, you should choose quickly. Either deal with the tribes of Dumeria, who are marching uh, to us through Bavoy, or try to discover where the new bloom or originates from. Or in other words, will you honor your alliance with Aldori, or would you rather leave them to the fate? Uh, ooh, okay. What's going on in Candlemere? Not long ago, a bright flash was spotted in the center of the island. After that, monsters started to appear in the area, attacking fishermen and travelers. Now, someone should travel to Candlemere and discover where these monsters are coming from and why. Okay, what's going on in Brevoy? The Colored Barbarians, Your Grace, the Tiger Lord's tribe. They sometimes serve as mercenaries in the River Kingdom. Uh, not long ago, a new chieftain rose among them and inspired the tribe to conquer new lands. His name is Amrag the Twiceborn. And it is said his tribe honor him as a living legend. Looks like Brevoy became his first target. Uh, Rossland, to be more specific. Ah, uh, the Tiger Lords. So they decided to come and fight? Uh, I've heard the former tribe is with, uh, with them now, hiding from the evil spirit that haunts them. <laughs> Bet the Tiger Lords brought the cowardly worms here with, uh, here with them. If so, I'll give them what they deserve. Uh, she shakes her head as if trying to cast off something unpleasant, and she glares at you. But her words are carefully controlled. What I wanted to say, Chieftain... We need to go there, and we need to hurry. I'm going now to scout around, maybe find some help. Come with me, or else uh, we'll live to see Amrag smash at the Brevens and come knocking on our main gate. Mm. Yeah. Well, if I'm going to lose Amiri otherwise. Um, easier. If we're going in a huge group, there's no way we can scout unnoticed. In short, I go first. Uh, to see their numbers, maybe smash several heads, and then you can jump, join me later on. I don't know, uh, I just, I don't take too long or I'll kick all their asses without you. Alright, let's return to my own concerns. We had decided then, you're going to deal with the business at hand, which leaves me to find some place to put my efforts and talents as well. So, your grace, until we next see each other. Alright. Uh, oh, Grace, I came to say farewell. At last, I must return to my homeland. I have responsibilities as family head. Thank you for everything you've done, and take care of yourself. All right. 
that was the the dude who had to find out about his family and his brother. Oh, your grace, there's one small matter, a series of small matters, actually, uh, that's growing into a larger problem. Your goblin ally seems to have invited more of his tribe to the capital, and they're acting as if it's their home. It seems your goblin friend and his allies have been industrious with their latest blasphemy, erecting statues of Lamashtu, the mother of beasts, right outside the capital. It's heresy, and it's spreading fear and panic among the people. Could you please look into the matter? The guards are hesitant to deal with uh, the one close to you personally. Oh. Knock, knock. What are you doing, my friend? Uh, thank you, Boken. Uh, I know it. I've got those books for you, but no. I'll have to go and uh, drop those off to him later on. Uh, we got a new thing, another carefree hunter. She likes giving me those. Uh, uh, before he was a boyish elf, a tight fitting leather outfit. A boyish female elf, okay. <laughs> On behalf of the single folk, uh, simple folk of Varnhold, I greet you. My name is uh, Tierval. I'm here to represent our community, um, to present you with a token of our loyalty, and humbly beg for your help. A lightning belt. Nice. I personally vouch for its quality. I made it with my own hand. Every stitch cut, and I hope you'll like it. Uh, we ask you to let Farnhold assemble a militia of her own. Maybe the locals are eager to help. Uh, yeah, sure, you can have a militia. Sure. I like the idea. Uh, we'll see what we can make happen. happen. Thank you, great. All right. Jeez, everyone's coming today. Uh, good day, Your Grace. I received a curious reminder uh, of my status as court artisan. A few preachers visited my workshop, praising you and expressing their gratitude for the warm welcome they received in your land. After they left, I decided to make a contribution to our common cause. A herbalist cape. Oh, thank you. Greetings, Your Grace. As you know, I was born in kind of the most wonderful land that has ever existed. And yet, I must say, living in your country is a pleasure for me. The people here seem content. They trust you and trust me as your court craftsman. It's important to know where, uh, who one's patron is and how he treats his subjects. Uh, it's a fine thing to share joy and amusement. Look, a gift. Oh, look, everyone's giving me cool stuff today. Must be my birthday. Meanwhile... Barbarian hordes had been gathering near Brevoy's borders. We had a difficult choice to make. Was it more important to chase a traitor or to fulfill our duty as allies? All right. Well, I'm going to sleep. I'll discuss this in the morning. All right. We get a lot of things today. So it's this, the herbalist cape. Uh, oh, okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. Uh, yes. Uh, so this is where the, ah, here we go. So this is where the barbarians were beforehand. So we're going over here. So we can use our teleporter to get us to Tazelford. There we go. And then I'm guessing we go here. Uh, let's just kick the crap at the people as we go through. Hmm. 
What a mighty encounter. <laughs> that was weird. Oh. Someone we can't avoid on the road. I'm not afraid. Ooh. Barbarians and wind. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. Good work, knock knock. Ooh, dear, your spellbook is not well organized. Protection, click resistance, masterwork, great axe, cure inside armor. Ah, mighty fists. All right. I am never wrong. On the bank of the utter surprise, we saw a fairy. Its rough-sounding pheromone smelled of onions. The trouble, uh, onions and trouble. He told us the problem of the pirates in the river had been resolved. A group of Numerians had gone downstream and scared off all the pirates. He told us then a heartbreaking story of his friend who once robbed travelers, but was wise enough to tr uh, to yield to Numerians and now living a miserable life as an honest man. Against all my expectations, we got to the other side without any trouble. Nice. The Raspberry Gully. Jeez, oh, I had to go around quite a ways to get to here. Hungry. When we stop. Oh, you're here, Amiri. Hello. You're here. Great. It's about time. Battle hasn't started yet. We may have enough time to pull this off. Here, meet Gwart of the Tiger Lords. And here's a he was Dugarth's uh, apprentice and a cleric, too. A really smart one. And they're on our side, and two of uh, uh, two of us have an agreement. Just, just listen to him. He'll explain things. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be brief. Uh, we're sick and tired of Amrag and his crazy witches. You want to help the Brevens? Uh, we want to pull our kin out of the senseless slaughter. Our interests coincide. Alrighty. Uh, so why are you unhappy with Amrag? Chief's job is to fight for the well. Uh, is to fight for the wealth and glory of his tribe, not to cram vague 
bullcrap about some great future down the throats of his tribesmen. The real Amrag once made all Numeria tremble uh, before the Tiger Lords. What has this Amrag done? Sent our people to their deaths for no reason, and he'll continue to do so in the future. Why should we even fight the Brevins, for God's sake? Is anyone going to pay us for all this? Will the sisters? <laughs> Dream on. We're tired of being used as pawns in this game we don't understand. Let's use you as an example. Perhaps you're not the most important person in the River Kingdoms, but you're certainly not an enemy to yourself or your people, right? Now, put yourself in our shoes. Imagine your chieftain calls on you and orders you to take all your people and jump off a cliff. All because some old crone foretold that it was your destiny. Would you do it? Mm. Well, Lily, like that should be thrown off the cliff instead before he kills the people. Exactly. Yeah, it's just what we thought. Um, if uh, you call yourself a chieftain, you should care about your tribe. And if you can't, yeah, you can go straight to the abyss. All right. Uh, I thought your goal was to seize and plunder Restov. Oh, that was Amrag. Uh, but he underestimated the size of Braboy's army. Yeah, he said their forces would be one third of the size and they haven't even uh, received your reinforcements yet. Uh, yet today's enemies are just a fraction of Bravois' forces. It's crystal clear to us that those forces and their walls rest of is too much for us. All we could achieve would be to weaken the Storm Lord, Sword Lord's army. And I'm sure uh, the Sertovas will be happy with that. But what's in it for us? The Sertovas would be paying <laughs> because we dragged our butts here of our own accord. I hear the voice of greed, not honor and valor. The only thing between these people and violence is a lack of payments. If someone paid for it, they'd gladly take up arm against a peaceful village. Oh yeah, easy. We're fighters. We fight with, our, with other fighters, not plow-pushing weaklings. Hmm, I'm not convinced. Alright, so if you get rid of Amrag, who will be the new chieftain? Uh, Jagartha, I suppose, but that's not important right now. Our main objective is to take out Amrag. Even a mindless baby would be better, uh, be a better chieftain than uh, this madman. It obeys those harpies every word and destroys his tribe. All right, so what's the plan? In short, with little help, uh, I can sneak into the camp and set Dugarth free, and then we'll find Amrag and kill him and the sisters. In my opinion, it's a pretty solid plan. Uh... In the meantime, you take your reinforcements to the Brevens. The sight of your army and the news of Amrax's position should be enough to convince our brothers and sisters to retreat. Uh, uh, Ooh, no way, I wouldn't say that. That's very harsh. Um, was that all? I feel like you're keeping something from me, Amiri. Is it that obvious? Crap, I'm such a bad liar. Fine. Here's the thing. I have one more thing to do. My tribe, the Six Bears, is at the Tiger Lord's campsite. Normally, I'd just say, screw it. But, well, they have Nilek with them, and I won't let anyone hurt her. Got it? All right. Well, maybe we should sneak into the camp together. Are you sure you can deal with Amrag on your own? What? Oh. Sneaking into the camp together is an option. Amiri uh, is of the Six Bears, so she can easily pass as one of her own people. The trick won't work with you. Though, besides, you have an army to leave, and without that whole plan, the hell plan is pointless. All right, we're ready. Uh, No, I have to take care of something else. All right, but don't waste time. All right, cool. Uh... I can't rest here. What's the hold up? Need to leave quickly. Need to have a rest outside of the camp to reset um, our wizard spell slots. Then we'll be good to go. I'm hungry. When we stop. Why are you so concerned about death? There are so many interesting things in life. I don't understand how one can die without trying Absalom's famous blueberry cakes. Blueberry cakes as the meaning of life. <laughs> hmm. There is something in this. I suppose even the end of times would be more fun with a blueberry cake in your hand. True enough. Hey.
All right, let's rock and roll. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, okay. sword. Here we go. Tie her up! Oh. Oh lord, we've captured an enemy spy. Let's kill her in Gorham's name. Boo! Come on, Chief, and bring her down. Yes! Punch her until she's... Ah! She'll be executed after the battle, so everyone can see what happens to those who stand in Armag's way. Now, continue the battle. Armag must leave. No one dares object. It's important. The most important thing in the world. heck just happened okay I'm going to that was very odd I don't know what the heck happened there so my guess is I'm not supposed to charge in like that I meant to sneak That wasn't really oh, clear. When we stop. I'm curious about this one here. Why not? We can do it easy. Come on, Gort, don't be such a wuss. Let's start a riot against Amrag. Gortum, you're right. What's holding us back? Onward. Oh, okay. No, this seems like the better way to go. Running won't help you. We've downed better ones. Ah, so you turn the Tiger Lords within the camp against. Okay. This is one of those things, weird dialogue options that don't really... You don't really understand the, the consequence of it. Now this is more like it. Yeah. 
Okay, I do have access to the other items, which is good. Um... Ah, dexterity and charisma. It'd be pretty cool though if it was um, strength and she could shoot lightning bolts. Need a challenge. All right. Um. So there's Dugarth and Nilak and the Defaced Sister. I think before anything else goes on, let's save. Let's also... There's probably going to be a fight happening here, so let's buff up. Oh, good. Paying attention to me now. Cool. Uh, dense red fog clouds in his eyes. Oh. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Fuck you. Is this a riot? Worms! Scrub! A riot against who? Against Armog? Your witch wanted to kill an Alec like cattle without even a charge. I'm gonna make you answer for that. The six bears crawled to Armog on their bellies, begging for his protection. And this is how they repay the Tiger Lord's hospitality? The girl killed the sister. Armog demands payment in blood. So be it. Armog and the girl will fight before the eyes of Gorum, like in ancient times. One-on-one. On one. Everyone, gather now. Draw the circle so we may fight. Blood for blood. <laughs> Here we go. Deep down, better ones. Let's get the rage happening. Oh, 
Jeez, he hits like a fucking truck. This won't kill me. Oh, come on. Ow, ow, ah, ow. Weak, pathetic, worthless. Tie the girl. She'll be executed after the battle. Right, so okay. Everyone can see what happens to those who stand in our This is like that, that fight with, uh, with Valerie. You actually can't win. Continue the battle. Armag must leave. No one dares object. It's important. The most important thing in the world. I've been railroaded. Alright, where am I? Ah, hello everyone. I knew I could count on you. The battle's about to begin, and I won't lie. Without your reinforcements, this battle would be hard on us. I'm glad to see you again. Now we'll win without a doubt. Uh, what's the situation? It couldn't be worse. Well, no. Things can always get worse. But the barbarians outnumber us. And they have giants in their ranks. Mm. They've broken their force into several groups, forcing us to spread our defenses thin. I really can't guess how many of my people will see another dawn. So is this all you have? It has many squads joined together. My fighters, other Sword Lord's forces, Restov militia, mercenaries. Restov is surely a free city, but it always relied on us Aldori to protect it. Okay, uh, there is a chance to cut our losses though. You tell a strange tale. Who are these sisters? Why did the Tiger Lords attack us in the first place? This sounds less like a conditional war than a bloody hecatomb. It's like the true reason behind this battle is to sacrifice as many people as possible on both sides in the name of some... Uh... I'm glad you're an adventurer first and a ruler second in this instance. Perhaps with the information you've obtained... We'll be able to avoid a slaughter. How do we proceed? Cautiously. I'll draw my forces to yours and begin a slow advance against the enemy. If your contacts spoke true, they should retreat. As for you, your best option is to return to their main camp. If all went as planned, you'll find Armag's body there. If not, then bring that adventurer's instinct to the fore and improvise. I'll uh, see. Let's move out. Abadar guide you. Do your best. I'd really like to see you again. In this world, I mean. Alright, let's rock and roll. I'm not afraid. Okay, so we're heading for the Barbarian camp, which is this way. Alright, let's rock and roll. Their life ends here. I grant you death. <laughs> <laughs> Finish them quick. Let us strike as one. Oh, 
Good work, all. Knock, knock more runner Do and talker than fighter. fuck are you doing here, Lander? Um, he raises his hand in a mocking Greetings, brave conqueror of the stolen lands. Allow me to congratulate you. Today is the day your names enter the history books. What's going on, Lander? Decided to participate in the battle? You're a bit late, I'm afraid. I'd say I appear just in time. Time enough, in fact, to inform Lady Aldori of your heroic death. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Betrayal. What? Uh, but you alive, and he says you... Oh. Lander, Lander, and here I thought we were friends. Well, we really were friends, but you see, friends are the first thing you sacrifice when it comes to power. I like you, I really do, but you would have held, wouldn't have held the throne long anyways. With your love of dangerous adventurers and this way... Uh, and this way, at least your lands will serve the interest of House Lebda. Believe me, I'll miss you deeply. Ah, uh, you think you can handle me, you little bastard? You really shouldn't underestimate me. I think my age somehow makes me inferior to you. Only rootless commoners like you bother, <laughs> bother measuring worth. Your own years lived. The worth of a noble must count centuries their families have lived as well. Uh. Ah, enough talk. You want my life? Come and take it. Such spirits, frankly speaking, I'll miss you, truly. When I hire new commanders, I hope to find candidates like you. Brave like you and gullible like you. Oh, where is he? Where is he? This will hurt! Yeah, he fucking went down like a sack of shit. Nice work, everyone. What's the hold up? <laughs> I'm always ready. I do what I must. Trivial task. Child of the wind. Ah, here they are. Hello, everyone. Uh, you find Gort at uh, Amrag's tent. He notices you, raises his hand to greet you. 
unties Amiri and Nelik. Both women rise to their feet, rubbing their numb wrists and exchanging smiles in triumph. Dugoth greets you with a curt nod. So, was your riot a success, Sex? Uh, I... <laughs> Oh, yes, and no. Amrak's still alive. Mad or not, he's still one of the strongest fighters in all of Galoria. But that's not important right now. He abandoned his army in the middle of battle. No one here will recognize him as chieftain after that. Appalling responsibility. Uh, such a person cannot be trusted with an army. So he's on his own now? Not at all. There's an entire army of his brothers and sisters back in Numeria, ready to obey his every word. Uh, they'd rather call us traitors than give up the great dream of Amrag once leading them to glory. We can try uh, appealing to their reason, but I fear this will end with the Tiger Lord splitting into two separate tribes. Uh, where did he go? Uh, that's the creepy part. Our Amrag spent a lot of time searching for the tomb of the ancient Amrag, the hero of the past, though, whose incarnation he believes himself to be. I don't know if it's true, but I heard a uh, rumor that he finally found it. He took a small squad with him, and the sisters opened the portal for them. And that was the last we saw of him. I guess he's inside the tomb already. And what he's looking for out there could make him terribly powerful, more powerful than any of us can imagine. Where's the tomb? Only Amrag and the sisters knew. You'll, if, you'll have to find it on your own. Great. Now we have to stop this madman. Exactly. Uh, and you should be the one to do it because we can't stay any longer. We are retreating to Numeria before another battle with the Brevorians, uh, the Brevens start. So listen carefully. Find the tomb, find Amrag, kill him. If you don't, he'll be back soon enough with a new army. And rest of will fall, not to mention your barony. Amiri, how you doing? Ah. Uh, Oh no! A, a sword broke. Amrag's really strong, the dirty piece of crap, but I survived, so hey, you'll gore him, I guess. As for Amrag, well, I'm still gonna get him. Oh, Amiri, how many times have I told you that disobeying orders and acting on a whim can lead to nothing good, but I'm glad you're alive. Uh, to Goth! I'm great! I knew we'd meet again. <laughs> That's right. Old to Goth, he's not so easy to kill. That's right, you know, his voice was more like this. That's right. Old Dugoth's not so easy to kill. I'd ask you to share a drink or two with me again. But, as you can see, this is not the best time. So what's going to happen to the tribe, Nilik? The evil spirit still haunts us. We won't survive on our own. We're going back to Nemeria uh, with Gort and the others. Well, farewell then. I'll do what I can to stop Amrag, and I hope you can talk some sense into your tribesmen. And having farewell handshakes, they leave. Mary, thanks you for. Uh, Mary, thanks for saving me. Dessa, be my witness. You didn't deserve. You didn't deserve it. After all, uh, after all, I said. Ah, oh, don't talk rubbish, sis. Uh, you think I'd let you die here? I uh, did a lot of stupid stuff back then too. I'm sorry. Um. Oh. I didn't know. What, I know you don't want to see our tribe anymore, but. At least visit us one more time. Many things have changed. We should talk, even if it is just one last time. Uh, if you say so, fine, I'll come. But if anyone tries to send me to the woman's hut again, I won't be held responsible for what happens. I'll wait for you. And she leaves. Alright. Hey. Uh. Alright. Report to Jamundi from success. I'm guessing... Right. Okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. Uh, Natalia Sotova Jumundi, there she is. The barbarians have retreated. Congratulations, my friend. You've managed the best kind of victory. A bloodless one. Well, they bled quite a lot. A brilliant victory, Baron. I've no doubt that the noble house you will found will in time gain great glory. And bards will sing its praises in every tavern. Mm. In time? The Stag Lord, Hagulka, Vordekai have had enough glory for several generations of families. So you believe yourself some knight of legend? <laughs> or perhaps... A heroic monster slayer? <laughs> That's adorable. <gasps> it would be heartless of me to dissuade you. She mocks me. The only difference between legendary heroes and us is the time we live in. 
The Baron's deeds speak for themselves. But all legendary heroes had to deal with the jealousy of others. History just never keeps record of the covetous fools. The deeds of the Baron in his lands are already worthy of legend. He has proven he has the virtues necessary to be not just a Baron, but to be a true king. Things just keep becoming more interesting with you. So, near Rastov's border, where once only impenetrable woods, monster lairs, and bandit dens were found, a real kingdom is emerging? <laughs> I confess, you have surprised me. Well, I won't object. It will be entertaining to see how that turns out. Indeed. I haven't the slightest doubt that this man will become one of the best kings the River Kingdoms have ever known. Uh, uh, I'd be honored to take the crown from your hands. Allow me to pledge my loyalty. Don't bother. You've already shown your true loyalties. No words can belie your actions. Uh, being your ally is a great honor to me. Trust me when I say I won't forget all you've done. The feeling is mutual. And now, let me bid you farewell. I was truly happy to meet you face to face once more. With all my heart, I wish your young kingdom great prosperity. And I hope your newly established noble family will have a long and glorious history. Well, your highness, it's time to get ready for the coronation. Shit, that was easy. You probably want to restore order within your lands first. As I'm sure you'll agree, it would certainly be odd to hold a celebration with monsters roaming the land and a crazed barbarian chieftain still at large. Once these issues are resolved, I'll be happy to see the region once known as the Stolen Lands become a full-fledged country led by a truly noble sovereign. <laughs> uh, one more thing. I've been informed of young Lebeda's escapade. If you wish, I can attempt to avert a scandal by discreetly returning his body to his family for a resurrection. Your name will never come up. Hmm. I would be much obliged. Don't mention it. And now I must return to my army. Till we meet again at your coronation. Hmm. All right. Well, that was exciting. So I'm actually so the the kingmaker aspect of it. Now here's the question. Actually, did I loot his body? Ah, it's like all of his good stuff. All right, so we've got to deal with the bloom in the stolen lands and uh, deal with the... Oh, there's an exit point up there. All right, cool. Uh, well, I guess if we just go up here... Okay. So now I can see the loot. <laughs> I will say, that's probably one of the best features of this game when it comes to looting stuff. The fact that you can just leave the screen and it just picks up everything. You can just pick through it like that. So now I can literally go through and pick up the, uh, the bits that I missed. So here as well. Excellent. Uh, let's leave. Alright. So the two faced hill, uh, ah, there's the six bears camp. All right. Mike, stretch. 
Treacherous Marsh, Haunt Ruins. Well, it's got the Tenebrous Depths as well. So I think what we'll do is we will head back to Tazelford, teleport back to... Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's just fight our way through. Teleport back to um, the capital. Sell off all our gear and... Ooh, sexy. It's time to act! Knock, knock, used to lighting Victory. enemies on fire first. Oh, that's a lot of fire elementals. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, so where's this one that came up from behind and bushwhacked us? Oh, we can just do this. Peaceful travelers, okay. <gasps> Will this be our skeleton friend? Yay, skeleton friend! Show me your way, skeleton friend. Cool. Well, thank you very much, my uh, my friend. I must be off. Always a pleasure doing business with you. We have a library now. I didn't realize that. Ah, uh, good morning. Imagine that, King. You know, I always believed in you. Uh, you keep it up, and who knows? A couple of years, you might even become emperor. Ah, uh, but that Amrag, he's, uh, and he and those creepy sisters barely managed to find the tomb. Uh, how are we going to find it? I mean, I suppose, uh, I have a bit of an idea, but I'm not sure. Uh, what do you mean? We could just go and do it ourselves. It's well hidden. Over the centuries, no one but Amrag has found it. It took him forever. You know, if we go wandering around without a clue, we could still be looking till the end of time. Before we go, we need to get some leads, all right? I have scouts we can send to the Glenborn Uplands. They can scout the location for us. Seriously? You have your own scouts? Well, I didn't know why I'm so surprised. <laughs> you seem to be king. Fine, let them search. Uh, but what's your ideas? Uh, we're not the first to live in these lands. Countless of other people have been here before us. Maybe they know something about the tomb. We could find some archives from previous inhabitants in the stolen lands, like the dwarves, maybe. Truth be told, I don't really know where to look for them, but these lands are swimming with ruins. There must be an archive or two left somewhere. I mean, hopefully. All right. Well, I'll give the orders. Let's do it, then. Let's find the tomb. We have to hurry, though. Who knows what Amreg might do, given enough time there. Yes, another tomb that we need to... All right. Let's go have ourselves a little rest. Uh, I think... I've got some things I need to give... Ah, oh, no, that was it. There was some stuff over here, wasn't there? 
was the... No? There's some complaints about the goblins I thought there were, but... Uh... Hang on. I've got... Oh, I've still got those books. Yeah, I do. I've got to give those to our our resident alchemist. I've been carrying these damn books with me for ages. Hang on. So if we go this way. Boken. I've got those books for you. Uh, those tasks of yours. Is this book you wanted me to find? Here's the second volume. And here's volume three. All right, all three volumes. I could read through them, assemble all the necessary ingredients, but I can handle that myself. Thank you for your help. All right. Awesome. Now let's go to bed. All righty, so... Um, the Onslaught armor, I've got to take... Uh, I've got to teleport there. Time to search for the spot to rest. There you are, dude. I have all of the armor. Um, all right. Oh, damn. Kagan just got a running, ruining perfectly good armor. I gather he could find, couldn't find a buyer for the whole thing. He decided to sell it off piece by piece. Uh, there'd be a lot of repairs. It'll take forever. Oh, we'll talk later. All right. Go to the throne room unless he wants to talk to me there. Otherwise, I gotta go out and find him in the streets and talk to him there. Oh. Okay. The Order of the Rack welcomes you, Baron. My name is Lixia. I come from a distant land of Shillax in search of a dangerous criminal who is hiding in your barony. Um, she stands tall and almost motionless. The reflection torch dances on the surface of her polished black armor, the depths of her watchful eyes. I am glad we have met, and I believe your rule, uh, the rule of law in your barony is not just an empty phrase. I hope for cooperation from your subjects and you personally. Um, who's this fugitive you're looking for? A dangerous pirate, a murderer, a rebel named... Darvin the Dashing Fi- I know who he is! He's found guilty of inciting rebellion and murdering noble lord in Chillax. Um, the law of my order is unwaving the punishment for such crimes is death. The Dwarven Rebellion took place in Chillax three years ago. The Order of the Rack quickly suppressed it. And participants were jailed and instigators ordered. But their leader, Darva, managed to escape. I have followed his trail for a long time and now it has led me here. Uh... uh so, how can I help with your investigation? I and my knights are perfectly capable of finding and elimination one criminal. Your help is unnecessary. All right. Well, I will authorize you to conduct your investigation. Thank you, Baron. Your goodwill means a lot to us. All right. Ooh, this guy looks cool. Um... A dismal silence hangs in the hall as a figure uh, of a new visitor appears in the door. He's taller than anyone else present and seems to be made of subtle folds and sharp angles. From his metal mask to his scarlet cape, he is literally reeks of evil, cold, calculating, unrelenting. Greetings, ruler of the land. I've come from afar to discuss a matter of considerable importance. I hope for a civilized conversation. Let me introduce myself. I'm called the Forefather, and I sir. Oh, I serve. Uh, the illustrious queen Masahala. I am a devil. Right. Now there are devils roaming around my capital. Great. How can you be sure of that? Disguises could do wonders. <laughs> I realize that guests like me are somewhat exotic. This is why I chose to come forward boldly in the light of day, as any honest visitor should in the land of a lawful ruler. Uh, the devil makes a few gestures and says something indistinguishable. Both uh, he and you seem to be 
enclosed in an invisible ring, the outside world shines through dimly. It sounds really audible. A modest proportion. Others should not hear what I have to say. I have news from someone you know, a young Kenneth and Kaliki. One of them is in great danger. They are both, but they both share a single fate. They must have told you by now of the Soul Eater who killed Kanak. I should imagine that by disclosing their secret and true names to you, the poor children deprive Kenneth of protection from the deadly foe. The Soul Eater has picked up her scent and will soon be here. You will need to help deal with it. Uh-huh. So what's your interest in the two of them? My interest in these lost children is special. I would say familial. It's my blood that runs in their veins. A long, long time ago, I gave a night of passion to a, long, a young follower of Metalach's cult. Her soul has writhed in agony in the flames of hell for many ages, and yet I feel a vague joy when I see the offspring of our alliance walking the sunlit lands of Quadria. I am their forefather, and not only by name. So what's so special about this soul eater? We've killed beasts before. This Soul Eater is more ancient and far stronger and more evil than any others like it. It knows Kenneth's name and will follow her relentlessly. If you refuse my help, both you and the girls will have to remain on close guard day and night waiting for it to appear, to attack. And believe me, <laughs> even so, you are not prepared when it, you, you will not be prepared when it strikes. What do you suggest? I can lure the Soul Eater to appear at the right time and place. Even know, I even know a way to rid it once and for all without any fuss. If you're willing to come with Kaliki to the barrens at the southern border of the Camelands, it must be Kalik. We must not risk her sister being found. We will meet there and resolve the matter once and for all. Alrighty then. I will come to the agreed place. I enjoy dealing with a reasonable and civilized mortal so long. Alright. Oh, great. He's set fire to my throne room. Uh. Alright. Is Knock Knock in here? Does not appear to be. Okay. Is that Lindsay, Octavia, Regnor? Hey, it's me, Gavan. How's things in Varnhold? Excellent, Your Grace. Uh, cool. Thinking of offering an official position, would you think? I can't say ruling Balony gives me much joy, and there's far more enjoyable pursuits. Uh, but if there's something I really excelled at, it was managing Varnhold's treasury. If I hadn't been there, our citizens uh, would have had to tighten their belts. All right. Oh, yes. In, the, in your room, I discovered a letter containing threats. Is there something you'd like to discuss with me? I didn't want you to know about that. I wanted to spare you from further worries. I began receiving letters like that once since I sent you trading goods. Once my men were interrogated, the trader who delivered the mail, but nothing came of it. I have some assumptions of who's behind it, but as long as I have no proof, I don't want to accuse anyone. All right. Uh... Do you remember anything when your soul was imprisoned? Mm, not sure, Your Grace. It was dark, almost no space. If you don't mind, I'd rather not recall anymore. Uh, how did Jumandi react when Varnhold joined my barony? To be blunt, Your Grace, who cares? Uh, maybe she's angry uh, back in Restov or crying her head off or even celebrating. Matters not. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, have you taken care of Varnhold's defenses? The people already reconstructed the fort walls, even started digging a moat around the town. All right, then. Well, I should go. I've got a goblin to speak to. Oh, Hell Knight of the Rack. Where did you meet Davin? Speak or I'll skin you alive. 
don't know anything. I swear, I've never heard the name before. Please don't beat me anymore. Um, what's going on here? Zulman is suspected of having links with Darwin. We know he bought fruit from her. I, I tell you, I don't know who that is. I've never seen him before in my life. Please save me from them. One way or another, I'll find out everything I need. Hey, 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 hey. Look, I didn't give you permission to beat my subjects, all right? Cut that shit out. It seems I was right in my suspicions. The rule of law on these lands is just a bunch of empty words, worth no more than a wooden coin. I'm not surprised seeing the ruler's weak will. Um, you may continue your investigation, but use humane methods while you do. Mm, thank you, but I must refuse. I despise weak authorities. It's a blessing that such rulers rarely cling to the throne for very long. Uh, if a gaze could incinerate, uh, there would be a handful of smoldering ashes right now. Hell likes we're leaving. We'll continue our investigation somewhere else. Don't get in the way of the Order of the Rack, Baron. This is my final warning. Hmm. <laughs> I'll have to kill them later. Knock, knock. You wanted to speak with me. Um, oh, yes, I heard your tribe is building shrines of Lamashtu near the capital. Yes, be praise, oh, mother of beasts. You want to pay respects to her? I'll show you. Um, I guess I have no choice but to visit the shrines. Oh, you'll like it, I promise. Um, I haven't heard much about the goblins since the trading post. Where are they? Oh, hiding, sneaking. Goblin's good at hiding and sneaking. Oh, you will hear from us soon, but no worries. All right. Oh, I'll catch you later. Uh, is it the clearing just outside the capital? The band back together. Ah, right, that's the... The other one. Follow if you dare. Oh, there they are. Knock knock half stumbles in, clanking and rattling from a number of fetishes adorning his body. Teeth pebbles so much that he looks like a filthy bed curtain. <laughs> you have no idea where he uh, when he was able to dress up like this. He stops before you, his back straight, and does his best to look down upon you, but the effect ends up being something of a mess. Before you can speak, Knock Knock addresses you, drowning out the words, uh, drawing out his word like proclamations. You have been summoned, Aurora Borealis. The mother of beasts speaks through me. Okay. Uh, Look, I didn't give you permission to construct these shrines in my capital, you know. But, yes, we built many shrines to worship the mother and no one. Uh, yeah, one sign of great goblin hero is to earn her favor. Uh, is she not welcome here? Not, not, not welcome here? Ugh. Look, I don't care, care who builds what. I just wanted to see what the fool's work was on about. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to get rid of Knock Knock. He's my friend. 
He grins about her. Hear all! The mother is peace, a peace, a peace with blessing from Aurora Borealis. All hail the mother! All hail Aurora Borealis! Hero of Big Bad Smell City! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Not Knock gives uh, you a faint nod, then trundles off, his costume trailing behind him and leaving small bits on the ground as he moves. All right. As a whole thing, I think actually one of the, the things when I was building the whole place was to be very tolerant of other religions, even though people are like, oh, it's so evil. So, anyway. All righty. So I think that's where we're going to leave today's session. Um, until they tell us the location of the, the tomb of the, uh, the barbarian, I can't really do anything else so uh next time we are going to be heading to the candlemare tower to explore the candlemare bloom and then we'll head to the southern barons after that with uh leaky to uh do oh we've also got to go visit the six bears camps we've got a few places to visit still but yeah, I think getting rid of the uh, the barren uh, the barony management is uh, definitely a better way to go. It's just less of a pain in the ass I have to deal with all this other less interesting stuff in the game. So anyway, that's where we're going to leave it. So thank you all very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I have been your humble bard tim and be sure to come back for the next session of aurora plays pathfinder kingmaker bye